Hello friends, myself Professor Bilal Khan from Khaibs Academy. Today we are going to discuss about engineering mechanics, which is a core subject for engineering students either from OU or JNTU. Today we will have a brief discussion about the subject. Engineering mechanics deals with application of force on a body to analyze whether the body is in rest or motion. So as the word or term is force, so basically we apply several types of forces on a body to check motion or rest in it. So there are two force system, three force system and four force system. Whenever we solve two force system problem, we use parallelogram law of force. When we use three force system problem, we use Lamis theorem. And for four force system, we use equilibrium conditions which are sigma x equals to zero and sigma y is equals to zero. So today's lecture will be on Lamis theorem. It was first introduced by a French mathematician named Bernard Lamy. It states that when three coplanar, concurrent and non-collinear forces act on a body which is in static equilibrium, then the magnitude of each force is proportional to sine of angle between other two forces. Okay, so let us consider a body onto which there are three forces acting. Let me name them as A, B and C. Angles between them would be if I consider A, angle between B and C would be alpha. If I consider B, angle between B and C would be beta. If I consider force C, angle between A and B would be gamma. So, there are three major conditions for the force. One is it should be coplanar, should be concurrent and the forces must be non-collinear. Alright. So the term coplanar means the forces which lie on same plane are called as coplanar forces and coming to concurrent. Concurrent force means the force system which has a common point as we have used three forces over here. So these three forces have a single common point or a contact point. So that is why these forces come under concurrent forces and non-collinear. Coming to non-collinear the forces should not be on the same line. As you can see these are on the common point but these are not on the same line. So that is the reason we call them as non-collinear. It is force A by sine alpha. As we have known, Lamy's theorem stated that each force is proportional to sine of angle between other two forces. If I consider force A, B and C is left. Angle between them is alpha. In the same sense, I will write B by sine beta. Similarly, C by sine gamma. Where A, comma B and C are forces and alpha comma beta and gamma are the angles. So let us understand this concept by a typical problem. So the question is a 150 Newton spear is tied to a smooth wall by means of a string find tension T in the string and reaction R from the wall. As we all know, language of an engineer is drawing. So let me illustrate the diagram of our given question. And the angle made by this sphere for the contact is 15 degrees. Alright. So, So 
for this free body diagram is a 2D plane onto which irrespective of positioning of your body it might be on horizontal it might be on an inclined plane or a declined plane weight will always act in downward direction that is 150 newton okay due to gravitational pull weight is moving downwards and due to the weight of the sphere this string gets stretched so in the subject mechanics this stretching is known as tension which is maximum at the end point so with respect to vertical it's making 15 so the reference angle over here will also be 15 degrees this sphere is in contact with wall at one point so this wall will have an opposing reaction onto the sphere to avoid the contact between them and as per the surface the reaction would be normal that means it would be exactly 90 degrees so rn comes to your right so here as we can observe there are only three forces one is weight tension and normal reaction so after this we can apply lamis theorem If I consider weight first, as in the theorem I have mentioned A is equal to B is equal to C, in while solving we will take numerical value first. So if I consider weight 150, you are left with two forces, one is tension and reaction. As you know each and every quadrant substitutes to 90 degrees, so the leftover angle between tension and normal reaction would be 15 plus 90. If I consider the tension, then there are two forces left one is weight and normal reaction again these two substitute for a quadrant which is equal to 90 degrees majority of students fail to attempt this problem and instead of writing 90 they write 90 plus 90 we need to observe if i consider tension there is only two force one is reaction and weight the angle between these two is obvious that is a quadrant which is 90 so that is the reason it is sign 90 if i consider normal reaction then the leftover forces are tension and weight as you know tension is also in a quadrant so 15 gets subtracted we are left over with 75 plus 90 as we solve the problem we get the values as follows we get value of tension as 155 newton and the value of normal reaction as 40 newton so this is the way to solve Lamis theorem problem. So for latest updates on our channel, please subscribe to Khaims Academy.